In this video, I'm going to write a C program that's going to remove a character from a string at a specified position in the string. So we'll make a string first. We'll say car s is equal to 12345-12345. And this could represent something like a phone number, where the first five digits are the first five digits of the phone number, followed by a dash, followed by the next five digits in the phone number. And maybe for some reason, we want to take out that dash. We just don't need it for our purposes. So we could write a function that could solve this problem in the more general case, where we could take out a character from a string at a specified position. So let's write that function. We'll say here bool remove car, and the function is going to accept a string as an argument, as well as a position at which to remove a character from the string. We're going to have the function return a bool because it can return true if it could remove the character and false if it couldn't. So because we want to use the bool type, we're going to have to include the stdbool.h library that allows us to do so. We're also gonna include the string.h library because the string.h library includes helpful functions for working with strings, including the string length function we can use to help us write this function here. So let's provide a definition of the function down here. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually get the length of the string. We'll say here int length is equal to strlen s, and we'll get the length of the string. Now we're gonna to have to check to see if the position that we're given is greater than or equal to the length. Because if it is, it's out of range. We actually can't take that character out of the string because it's out of the range of valid string indexes. So with this string here, for example, we have indexes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this last index here with the 5 is going to be index 10. But the length of this string is 11, right? Because you have 5 characters, 6, and then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So what we want to check is if the position is greater than or equal to the length, it's out of range. If we did try to say modify the character at index 11, that would actually be the null terminator that actually ends the string. We don't want to take that out. Otherwise our string is really not a valid string at that point. So we're going to say here, if the position is greater than or equal to the length, we're going to return false because we just can't take that character out of the string. Next, we're going to take the character at the position we're given here, and we're going to replace it with the character one over. And we'll do that for all the remaining characters in the string, essentially shifting the characters up by one from this position onwards. So we'll say here for int i is equal to position, i is less than the length of the string, i plus plus. And we'll say s at i is equal to s at i plus 1. And what we're basically going to do is shift all these characters remaining over by 1 so that the resulting string will kind of look like this with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, effectively deleting this character from the string. Now, when we do this shift, because we go right up until the length here and because we access i plus 1, we actually are going to end up shifting over that final null terminator character as well, which will also terminate the string one character early as well. So because at this point we've actually successfully removed the character from the string, we're going to return true. So let's try testing this function out. We'll say here bool result one is equal to, and we'll try calling the function with the string and the position or the index 20. And if this is the case, it should be out of range. And so the function should return false. Then we'll say if result one is true, printf car removed from string. Else we'll printf car not removed from string. And in this case, we actually want this sort of failure case here where we couldn't do it. So we'll save this, we'll run it, and we get car not removed from string. And so it worked. So let's now give it a more valid test here. We'll say bool result two is equal to remove car. We'll say s, and this time we'll remove the character at position five. So you have zero, one, two, three, four, five. Position five is gonna be this dash here. So if result two is true, we'll say printf car removed from string. Else we're gonna printf and we'll say car not removed from string. 
And in this case, we do want it to be removed from the string because it is a valid position there. And then we'll printf the string afterwards. So we'll say printf and we'll say percent %s slash n. Let's just output the string. And let's actually just take this one out. We'll comment it out just for clarity's sake in terms of what we're looking at in the output. So we'll run this here and we get car removed from string. And you see it here now, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and the dash is gone. And so we've successfully written a C program that removes a character from a string at a specified position. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.